previously on Sense the Lens. What did we do? <laughs> this is our home. Good morning. <laughs> Welcome. Here we will be taking showers. We have the toilet and our gym. Great. Oh, this is amazing. Bye -bye. Water. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Palma de Mallorca, you've just won big points with her. Here there is, actually, even though it's an island, still. We must say that we really like it. Maybe it's a place where we could see ourselves in the future. Good morning. Natalie is still half asleep. This morning was raining, so we slept a bit more because there was no point in waking up and uh, being under the rain. So now it's a bit better. So now we can get ready and go use the toilets. We might need to shower. Yeah. yeah. We would what? Need to shower. <laughs> it's too cold, yeah? After a quick shower, now we're just uh, coming back to the van and we we see that uh, there's the friend of Natalie. So she stopped talking and uh, she invited us to her crib. So let's go check it out because uh, it seems really nice. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, that's a cat. Yeah, yeah. Okay, baby. Oh my God, this turned into such an interesting day. So the friend I was talking about last night, here she is. Here I am. <laughs> Amanda and wow if you compare our van with hers <laughs> I feel a bit ashamed she's made it so so nice and so practical I love this that you can like fold it out good yeah job. but you guys just live in your van for a week so that's fine. yeah okay but, like, yeah if sure. you live in it full time it's actually nice to be able to stand up yeah I don't have to walk around oh my god <laughs> I'm gonna change I'm like, how am I gonna do this you know like yeah that's really nice but that's the beauty of different vans you know it's like yeah. everyone built it for their own needs and you know they're yeah. Life and for how long they're gonna travel. I mean, how long have you had it? I've been living in this full time for two years now. <gasps> oh my god! Wow, oh. oh my gosh, she even has spotlights. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh my oh, god, that's wow. so nice. really, really cool. And the proper advertisement here. Coffee. Thank you. Bye. 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 <laughs> it was really nice. Yeah. And we got a, a little chat. It was really pleasant. Yeah. Coming back to the luxury van. <laughs> now experience is starting to kick in. So it's good to make the bed when it's still bright instead of doing it in the darkness. <laughs> quiet and family like oh my, I love it I love it but then I'm also like would you get bored you mean to live in yeah that's all I'm thinking right now where, <laughs> yeah. where are we gonna live I can like I picture ourselves with the dog everywhere I mean this house is beautiful as well yeah either way it's nice to know that this is very like 20 minutes from Palma yeah. so even if we would live somewhere there if we would stay here this is a really close village you can just go to yeah. for the day and True. walk around, go to a cozy restaurant. We're gonna go there and see, walk a little, see, see if there's anything yeah. open. Well, I get a completely other feeling in my body as when there's nature around. Mm, yeah. I get calmer. Staying in a van in a city, it really feels just weird. You're in the middle of everything and people yeah. are 
driving past and like here it's any yeah. private anywhere. Right? You know, I feel like the comfort in the city is to have a small car so that you can park anywhere, you're mm. quickly accessing to every street. Yeah. Um, but that benefit doesn't stand anymore when you are outside in nature with a lot of space. Mm. There, outside, like we are now, the comfort is actually having the van like we have. Yeah. So yeah, finally it feels good. Okay, started raining, so let's come back to the car quickly. Alright, nice and fresh. Now we need to get ready quickly and go to a cafe or something and charge everything because we just have the camera left and that's it, we don't have anything else. touristic because yeah. she damn the price is just raised yeah true story double let's begin gracias hasta luego all right that was quite good and it stopped raining in the meanwhile so that's perfect so good afternoon it's a bit great today it's been raining yeah. and then it stops and like that mm -hmm. Yeah, but unfortunately. So, yeah, but it's fine. The temperature is okay. There's many people. It's packed yeah. the place. And today actually is uh, National Day, Spanish True. National Day. Happy, Happy birthday, Spain. <laughs> Happy birthday, Spain. <laughs> There's many small cute places where yeah. to eat, where to snack. Look at that street. Really cute. It's really nice this village. Would you consider this as a place where you could live? No. <laughs> Straightforward. We I love this place, but just to visit, I think. Yeah. So we decided now to go to another uh, village, like 15 minutes a car away from here. Vegan food, they have some. Some, yeah. Not too much. Yeah, true. Maybe not the optimal idea for us to live. Maybe in Palma, but not to here. So we'll yeah. see. We'll go to the so, next place. Yeah, we tick off this place for us to live. Let's yep. move to the next one now. <laughs> Look, come here. Charming townhouse, a million dollars. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. Holy snap. I mean, these This, now three, we're talking. But... This is, yeah. Okay, but like three millions? Wow. Isn't it a bit overpriced? Just a little bit? Maybe. For eight millions. Finca with touristic license. Oh my gosh. Whoa. The mandarins. Yeah. What is it? No, it's mandarins, yeah. Yeah. I accidentally took one. Should we try? Yeah, try. What if it's poisonous? Yeah, actually, maybe not try. Yeah. <laughs> We are not very expert in uh, in these things, so we don't want to end up in the hospital. By looking at where we can live, I feel like this and Valdemosa it's a bit too rural, too medieval. And uh, even though it's an amazing place to be isolated and to just chill, I feel like it's too isolated. Yeah, it's very like you know, everything is of stone, like stone houses. I haven't seen another type of house yeah true but it's so beautiful yeah. but yeah like there wouldn't be on let's say h&m <laughs> or no. you know some normal yeah. stores yeah the cars are passing everywhere here uh, due to the tourists right it's not very quiet not even if you have a house here 
it's uh, continuously trafficated. Yeah, we managed to see the sunset. Yeah. Look. Yeah. Covering the mountains, but you see that the sunset is happening. Yeah. So it's like coming through the clouds, like the light. Oh, yeah, hungry. Hungry again. We got some food and charge most of everything. I think that has been the biggest challenge, like getting stuff charged and uh, shower. And shower, yeah. <laughs> so coming back to the car now, we're gonna find a spot where to, to sleep. Yeah, and this is the only car left. It's very, very tight. A slightly bigger car and we wouldn't have fit it in any of these. Fit. Sorry. I mean, there are some normal cars, but oh, isn't it? that looks a little constant. Why is there a towel? Or it's, a, it's a destroyed car. A destroyed car. That's scary. We decided that uh, here was fine. It was just a broken car. Yeah. Check the place. All good. So we'll see you tomorrow. See you in the morning. Good night. Good morning, good morning. So, it's a new day and we are going to Soler, which is another village, let's say, here, close by. 15 minutes? No, 25 actually. 25 minutes away. And uh, we were just talking and even though we wouldn't live exactly here in this village, it gives a plus to Palma, the island in general, because it's a beautiful place to come to spend a weekend and there's a lot of hiking, bicycling, which we love all these activities. And also it says that Palma has more than 300 beaches, so that's a really big plus. So yeah, we're gonna look in more into it yeah. and we'll see how sun it is. Yeah. Besides, it's oh. spectacular. The water is clear. <laughs> I feel not. Yeah. It's more family feeling. This restaurant looks nice. They have vegan options and they have a table in front of the sea. Let's see. I didn't actually mean that joke. All right. We took a long lunch, but it was really nice. So now we'll have a quick walk around because we want to see what it's about before yeah. we need to leave. Far. My favorite. Oh. <laughs> Got a winner so far. We're gonna win this. Yeah, Even more than Palma? Mm, I don't know. It's hard. <laughs> 
<laughs> that's a tough one. That's a tough one. I mean, it's completely different. <laughs> yeah, true. Completely different type of uh, living. I think it has potential. Yeah. The thing is that it is difficult. It's not like uh, you would visit any other city yeah. when searching for your house, searching for your country of living. It's not like the touristic things that you should do. Exactly. Because <laughs> automatically I start Googling, you know, Museums. like most epic things to do in the city and stuff yeah. like that. And I got many things. And then at last we were like, but why are we doing this? Yeah. Like, well, that's not the purpose why we're here this time. Here it is. The stop. <laughs> okay. Going in the right direction. Yeah. Yeah. Ready? Let's go. At this point, we started analyzing each village as if it was going to be our home. And we got a lot out of it. The next video will be the last of the Palma de Mallorca series, where we get surprising feelings and experiences. Make sure you subscribe to the channel in order to stay with us in all that we do. Thank you for watching the video until the end. We are extremely grateful to be able to share this intense period of our life with you. Stay blessed, take care, and we'll see you next week.